everyone. This is Suman Kaur, Chief Media Editor, IDPS Jammu. And today we have with us Dr. Renu Gupta Ji, Chairperson Mai. Uh, Ma'am, as uh, Women's Day is coming, what is your message for young girls? Well, I would like to give a good message to all the young girls and women. Um, the theme for this year's, uh, you know, Women International Day is gender equality today for a sustainable tomorrow so probably the focus is on gender equality so I think uh, when we talk of gender equality it is a continuum you know starting from gender inequality to gender equality and then the third and the last dimension is the gender neutral so now what we are trying to say why they are emphasizing because this is the you know, sustainable goals, developmental goals given by UN in 2015. And so they want that gender equality should be highlighted because they are linking the gender equality with the sustainable development, not only in our country, but in all areas, not only social, economical and uh, environmental also. So basically, I would say that uh, from gender inequality, we should move to gender equality. Okay. So how are you going to bridge that gap? So we are going to, you know, have all the, uh, you know, gender equity processes. Because when we say gender inequality, so I feel that uh, we are here, like men are here, we are here. Yeah. So there's a lot of gap. Yeah. So to bring them up at par with, so we need to have a gender parity. And once we think that women are equal to men and then they are given all the opportunities and you know they can be involved in participating, participatory activities and decision making process. So then I think that gender equality will take place. So I think I would like to uh, say to all the young women that imagine a world where there is gender equality, gender neutral we don't get recognized as men and women, mm. but we are recognized first as individuals and human beings. Yes, right. And then based on our capacities, we can say that, okay, we can compete with men. Children. So that is the only thing. And uh, if we think that we are, you know, biologically we are different men and women, but that should be the end of it. We are women, let's celebrate our womenhood, get dressed, do everything. But if we have to compete with men, then the only thing is competence and competence only comes from when you have good education, when you have good skills, so you can match men and I think if gender equality is there then sky is the limit for all of us. In the next generation I think we will not be lagging behind in anything like that. That is my message. <laughs> Ma'am, uh, your resolution on this International Women's Day? My resolution is commitment. If we have these goals and they're coming from the world, we only have to take these goals into from global to local. Since we are, you know, talking of those goals which have been given sitting somewhere in UN. Mm -hmm. So it, they are percolating to us here and we are talking about it. So all those goals, now this goal like gender equality, this is the fifth goal. But there are other goals also. So we can integrate those goals okay. and also, you know, see the total development of women. So that is the commitment we have to have. And I think I will appeal to, like you gave me an award, which I don't know whether I deserve exemplary role model. It truly deserves. So I think that a person like me, an empowered woman, should be hand-holding all other women and take them along. So that, you know, we feel committed and we have a critical mass of women True. thinking alike and then we can do wonders. So commitment is the only thing which we, I require from women. So I think nobody can stop us from doing what we want. Uh, Ma'am, your wishes for IDPs? I have already, you know, discussed informally, <laughs> but I am all praised for IDPs because apart from doing good work in education, you are trying to do this community service and you're trying to identify people you know creative you're doing creative programs you're trying to identify people role models and then you're trying to uh, make them come together so we can always do the mentoring 
you know, we may be role models, but other words, we are mentors. True. So if you involve mentors, call them to your uh, to those common platforms, call the women, and we can motivate them, and we can share our experiences, our life journeys to them, and you know, because I would like to compliment and congratulate. IDPS for this great thank service which you are doing. Thank you so much ma'am. Thank you for giving your time. Thank you. Thank you.